Hey guys, welcome back to Dish Nation. I am super excited to A, be wearing a Selena jean jacket, and B, I am getting ready to sit down with the cast of Selena the series. Now, did it trip you out? Because when I was watching this, I was like, she looks, I mean, you look exactly like her when you were in everything. Were you like, like, did that freak you out? No, I, I, uh, I so much was just focused on the work and the job and Selena that I really didn't have time to like consider it or process it or like look at myself in that way. I just wanted to honor her and do such a good job and focus just on the work. But it was always really beautiful when I saw other people's reaction to me because it was emotional for them and it made me realize like, okay, maybe, okay, then this is right. Then this is the right thing. There was like parts where you're singing and I'm like, I looked on my phone. I I was like looking at the real and you and it was like it was kind of mind-blowing to be quite honest that was something i worried about you know i just want to portray her as honestly and as accurately as i can and you know nobody will ever be selena and i just wanted to embody her spirit as much as possible gabrielle talk to me about the costumes because i'm rocking my selena jean jacket <laughs> but you guys got to wear some amazing costumes talk to me about all the cool clothes you got to wear yeah there were some pretty cool uh outfits that we got to wear some uh, some were very very uh, some you know some, were, some of them were a lot um, you know it, it really it really brought us back into that time especially with with the wardrobe um, and the, you know and the hairstyles as well so it was fun I got we got lots of pictures <laughs> and Ricardo what about you what what about you stepping back in time well you know I stole that wardrobe there's nothing like uh, Oceanside dad golf wear from <laughs> JC Penney's to uh, be able to steal and take out into the 2020 and rock. Uh, you know, and, uh, yeah, no, um, <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the fashion back then, because you guys got to wear some really awesome costumes. What were some of your favorites? Anything with the shoulder pads. Once I put on those shoulder pads, I was back in time, and I felt like, okay, I'm in the 80s, I'm in the 90s, um, and I guess my favorite, favorite items were my glasses. Those were good. For me, honestly, um, noticing Suzette in the archive, she always was on point and dynamic and bold. So I always felt really confident in her in her wardrobe and her look. But specifically, if I had to pick a favorite, it's definitely the signature pompadour mohawk that I got to rock that made me feel like, oh yeah, she's 80, she's rock and roll, she's a musician, she's a strong, supportive mama bear. And, and it gave me a lot to work with to, to set her up as Suzette for the series. Um, you were both badass in this. Congratulations. Oh, I freaking thank loved you. it. Awesome. Thank, thank you, ladies, you. so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Sadie, I'm gonna hop in a time machine right now. I am going uh -huh. back right I'm going back <laughs> right now to the set of Selena the movie. <laughs> and I am about to tell you that 23 years from now, you're gonna play her mom. I said that to myself, yes, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, how mind-blowing is this? <laughs> yes. And when I booked this job, that's ex the way you just described it, that's exactly what went through my mind. I was like, what are the chances of this? Thank you. I get to go through this journey now. And as their mother, it, it was a gift. It really was. <laughs> 